what is up guys welcome back to my channel happy halloween and happy spooky season i hope that you guys are all enjoying the holidays this month and for today's video i am going to be recreating a look from one of my favorite films ever called showgirls if you guys have never seen the movie showgirls what is you doing with your life you need to watch it check it out it's a classic film basically a story about a girl who is a stripper in vegas and she wants to become a real showgirl in that movie honey they are serving so many looks i mean from makeup to outfits to costumes um the dressing room scenes are even iconic and it just is so nostalgic i don't know it reminds me of like my job and just oh my god it's on a whole nother level of course as far as like makeup and costume but they have so many looks with like glitter and gems and bedazzles and latex and it's just so awesome i really want to create another look from that film but i am in quarantine right now and i would have to leave the house to get some of the material that i would need to create the makeup but i am going to be recreating a look from the very ending of the film with just a few things that i already have at home and some accessories that i found at spirit halloween a couple weeks ago so i am very excited to create this for you all i have some reference photos here in my ipad to show you guys if you've never seen the film um and you don't know who nomi malone is she is basically the main character in the movie this is what she looks like in the scene that i'm going to recreate she is serving looks i mean look at the detail in this shirt the shiny metallic like tiger stripes going on the glasses she's wearing are fire even down to the cowgirl hats which i have a black one just like this um so i'm really excited i mean the very pretty nude gloss and then i have her hair in the film she wears her hair curly in this film so i wore my natural hair today and i just got some up close photos in the film so i could use for reference she's kind of got like a little kind of cut crease going on and then the crease area is kind of orange. So I'm going to try my best to create this look. <laughs> Iconic. And yes, look at this. This is what I want to recreate. So hot, so sexy. So if you want to see how I recreate this whole look, then just keep watching. So I already toned and moisturized my face. And I'm going to go in with my favorite um, primer that you know I always use. And that's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So that we can get this smooth skin HD look like she has in the film and you guys know this is like my go-to primer I've been using this for like two years now and I just love it it makes everything just look so smooth let's get into it you guys already know I'm gonna go in with my tinted moisturizer I used this in my last video by Bare Minerals and I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush by Glam Goth Beauty and I'm gonna just go in with shade tan 07 and I'll just put it directly into my face like this and then I'm gonna just go ahead with that foundation brush and blend it all the way in the movie Showgirls I think that film was made in 1995 when it came out I was born in 1996, so I am a 90s baby. That film is just so freaking hilarious. I mean, I know a lot of people talk shit about the film and say that it's super cringy and like corny, but I don't know. I love that film. I think it's the stripper in me that really loves it. <laughs> I don't know. Since I was a little girl, I kind of always felt like I was going to like end up in something like that in that industry and i know that's probably super crazy to like know something like that when you're like an innocent child but i remember always watching films with girls like nomi malone in them maybe i probably shouldn't have been able to watch that when i was younger <laughs> but i just remember watching films with main characters like nomi and just like looking at them like they are so beautiful i want to be like that when i grow up when it comes to like makeup and all that i can be super feminine um and i just love the whole like glam i've always been into makeup since i was younger um i love the sexy outfits like i remember watching like the playboy bunnies on tv and i just wanted to like be that it girl like i wanted to be like the girl next door but like sexy and i knew that like what i wanted to do for my like 
future was going to be something in that area and now I'm a stripper so <laughs> I guess it was just in my destiny and now I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl concealer and I'm just going to apply it. it has a little brush at the tip and then just apply it directly under my eyes but yeah it's kind of crazy how <laughs> um I ended up being that and I just remember watching like the girls in that and i'm really tiny and i know in the 90s like being super super duper skinny was in not like saying that that's healthy or like i know it can cause severe body image issues and things like that but i'm naturally tiny so it's just funny how like the years have changed now it has changed so much it used to be like being tiny was in but now it's all about having a fat ass <laughs> and big boobs and all of that um which I'm I'm here for it honestly like thick girls it's time for y'all y'all season to come through and be appreciated because a lot of women are naturally shaped like that and I think thicker women are beautiful I'm Latina and black so you know a lot of the women in my family are thick as hell and i just skipped that gene and <laughs> i just remember looking at my sisters and growing up and being like oh my god you guys have such nice bodies i want to look like that when i grow up but i hit puberty and that just never happened <laughs> i do foresee a boob job in my future because i've always wanted big boobs like i said i used to watch like the the playboy bunnies and all of that and just look at them like oh my god so i foresee getting one in my future all right now let's go in and set my under eye with my airspun powder Ooh, this stuff always gets everywhere when you open it they do need to work on the packaging for this now i'm going to go in with my real technique beauty blender dip right into there and we are just gonna bake I used to not bake that much like I used to just go in with a brush and put it under but I've been doing it a lot lately I don't know I've been in love with it maybe because I have such oily skin I just love having the powder like seep in and <laughs> suck in all those oils so it's been my go-to recently lately and in the film she doesn't have that much like crazy like contour or anything going on she's just kind of got that like natural 90s makeup look which is so crazy again how the makeup has changed and you know it used to be thin brows and now it's about fuller brows and um what's going on right now that a lot of girls are doing i forget what it's called laminated brows so it's just cool to see how the times have changed now let's go in do these brows speaking of brows i'm gonna try and do them thin like nomi has it in the film i'm gonna look back at the photo just for a quick reference all right so she's got the classic 90s thin brow we're gonna try and create that i already have no brow so it's not gonna be that hard <laughs> but i'm gonna probably have to conceal certain areas to get them like that because i usually fill in my brows fuller it's crazy how much brows makes a difference it changes your entire face I remember being super insecure in high school because I never had eyebrows and I remember like during like 2010 or around there brows started becoming a major major thing like on tumblr and everything and girls were really like learning how to draw their brows in and it was like the thing and it was hot and I never had brows and I didn't know how to draw them in so I always felt so so insecure about it because I loved makeup and I started getting into it little by little in high school. I didn't wear all the kind of makeup I wear now. I just wore like foundation, mascara, and like lipstick. But I would play around with makeup and like learn how to contour. And I used to be so sad that I couldn't do my brows. But we're gonna try and do them as thin as possible. When I first started learning how to do my brows, I would kind of draw them in very thin just because I didn't really know how to get that shape um, perfected yet. So I would draw them in kind of thin. If you see on my Instagram page, some of my photos, my brows do have that really thin look, which I think is hot too. It gives me Y2K vibes, bimbification. Love that. And one of my favorite things about Halloween is just the costumes and the looks 
I I'm the type of person that changes my look constantly when I mean my looks I'm referring to like my hair makeup and stuff like that I just get bored so easily so like you'll see me with different styles I'll have natural protective styles and I'll wear weaves and wigs and my natural curly hair and I like to change it up a lot okay I do feel like in the 90s they would have that really like triangular look like up it was kind of dramatic so i'm gonna try and create that okay now i'm gonna go in with the concealer make them look thinner i'm gonna apply it at the bottom and at the top get a little closer so you guys can see what i'm doing like that I'm gonna go do that to this side too. There we go, we're getting that 90s thin brow. And then I'm gonna take a little makeup wipe because I feel like this one on the right side is just a little bit fuller. And just kind of clean it up. On the top area, there we go. Okay, so the brows are done. Now let's dust off this um, setting powder so that we can go and do a little contour. We're gonna do a very light contour, not too heavy. She's wearing a little bronzer in the photo, but again, we wanna do like 90s makeup, not, not 2021 makeup. <laughs> okay. That's set. Now, Let's put a little tiny bit of bronzer in. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. contour palette. Now I'm gonna go in with this contour brush by Glam Gothi. It's kind of angled like that. It's perfect for contouring. And then I'm gonna just go in with that like light one right there. And I might dip in between the two, but let's start off with this one so that it looks more warmer and softer like she has it in the film. Yeah, I think the warmer one is perfect. So we're going to stick to this one on the bottom. Ooh, my curls is getting in the way. Okay, let's go to the side and do the same thing. Up to the top here too, very lightly. I just give it a very light contour, nothing crazy or dramatic. Um, I don't even think I'm going to contour my nose because let's see if her nose is contoured in the photo. Because you know how these Hollywood films do be. It looks like it is a little bit. Yeah, she's got highlight and she's got blush on too. So I'm going to add a little blush going down. there nothing too crazy or dramatic all right now I'm just gonna go in with some setting powder and dab that in okay now I'm gonna take a little bit more setting powder because now my nose is looking kind of brownsy and put it in here like that now we're gonna add the blush um, I usually don't wear blush but but I bought a little blush palette because I kind of want to get into it and try it out. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to wear some. You can tell I barely have used this, but this is the Wet n Wild Halo Blush Lighter um, Combo Little uh, Compact. And I'm going to dip into this and this together. And just apply it to my cheekbone. I don't really even know how to apply blush because I don't wear it. I think you're supposed to do it like when you're wearing highlighter I think so <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right <laughs> okay I hope this is the right area where you apply it I know my sister always wears a ton of blush and it looks so pretty on her I don't know I have a like deeper complexion than she does so I'd be scared to use it because I don't know how to work with it 
really on my skin complexion. I think it looks really good on fair skin too. And girls who know how to do it right with darker skin, but I don't. So um, I hope that looks good. Not too much because again, she has a very natural look in the film. And now let's get into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Dark Renaissance palette again. I feel like this is a perfect Halloween palette. And then I'm gonna look for my own reference. She's got like on her lid, yellowish color, and then like a bronzy color on the cut crease. Okay, first I'm going to set my eyes real quick. I don't have any concealer on my eyes. So let's do that first. And then we'll go in with the Mini Beauty Blender and blend it out. Same to this side. Okay, and then we are gonna set the lids with the perfect setting color Madonna in the Dark Renaissance palette. Let me get a flat brush here. This is a Morphe M224 brush. I'm dipping into Madonna and I'm just setting my lids. Let's sit under the brow too. Okay, now that I set both of my lids, we are going to, I feel like, should we go in with the lid first or the crease first? I think he's supposed to go in, do the lid first. We're gonna dip into this light yellow color called, and this shade is called David. So let's dip into David and let's press down onto our lid. I'm gonna go and do the same thing to this eye. I'm gonna go in with this color here because this is what it looks like she has going on in her crease area. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe JH39 brush. I'm gonna dip into Florence right here. And I'm gonna go into my crease and apply it and blend it out using very light, light strokes, just going back and forth, and then in circular motions. I really love cut creases. I think they look so pretty. Can never go wrong with a nice cut crease. And we're gonna go in on this eye and do the same exact thing. Okay, now that I'm done blending, this is what the colors look like. I noticed that she is wearing a little black liner at the top and underneath inside of her eyes. I usually do not do that when I do my makeup, so we'll see how this looks. I think I'm gonna try it naturally and smoky with like a dark with a black shadow. So I'm gonna go in with Raphael and then I'm gonna go in with like a tiny flat brush and then just um, put it underneath my eyes and then on the top. So let's see how it looks. Because when I wear eyeliner, I use liquid liner, so I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to get that same look as she has. So let's try with the shadow first and see how it comes out. Okay, so I found the perfect flat brush for it. It's really flat and I feel like I can really get in there and create that straight line because of how it's shaped. So this is a JH43 Morphe brush. I'm gonna dip into this black shade right here, Raphael, and let's go apply on the top and smoke it out. There we go. And then we're going to go and put some on the inside of my eyes. So I'm going to have to do that off camera real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied the black shadow underneath my eyes to make it look like I have an eyeliner. And then I applied a little bit on top to make it look like I have a black smoky liner on like she had in the movie. So now the next thing um, that I would do is highlight. I know she's wearing highlight. You can definitely tell, especially in the scene where the sun is like beaming down on her face. So we're going to use the same highlight I used in my previous video by Laritzi because that one is perfect. It's got that gold shimmer to it. Okay, so here is the Laritzi Liquid Beam Highlighter. My sister gave me this from her Allure box and I've been in love with it ever since. Um, I use it all the time. So let's go in on the nose because she definitely has highlight on the nose a lot, you can see. When I put my um, highlighter on, I just dab it with my finger. And she definitely has it down here. There's a lot of shimmer in this movie. <laughs> and I think that's why I love it so much because I love 
glitter my sister hates glitter like she won't wear lip gloss that has too much glitter on it so whenever she gets like any products in the mail with like, a glitter in it she's like here jahida for you okay oh i love highlighter it's so pretty okay let's go on this side do the same thing in the like video or in the movie i should say in the movie she's kind of got some liner on but she's got some gloss now when the sun hits it's got that like pinkish orangey look to it but in different lighting of the movie it looks kind of like that so i think i'm going to combine parish with some like red liner and put on my champagne toast um nudish gloss i'm kind of running low on this but i have just enough to use um this is my favorite this is called champagne glam by elf and it's got that like nudish color. So I feel like it will all blend very well together. First, we're gonna start off with this matte and then we're gonna apply the Parish and then we're gonna apply the red lip liner on top and then we're gonna go over with the gloss. Start off with the matte lip. I'm not gonna apply too, too much. This is just like the base of the lip. Okay. Drop. Now. I'm gonna go in with this Ramel London Exaggerate Lip Liner in shade Red Diva 024. Is this dry enough yet? Okay, and we're gonna just apply it and outline our lips. Her lips are very over outlined in this film. Okay, then we're gonna go in with Parish to give it that like orangey color. Just a little, cause this is very, very big and stiff. I think if I use a flat brush, it'll work better. So let me get a little tiny flat brush. Or I'm pretty sure this really tiny brush that I've never used for is for like lips, like going into different liners and stuff you can use this i think to do like liquid liner and stuff but i'm going to use this to kind of uh apply parish but not too much in certain areas so i can have more control over it there you go And then we're going to go in a little bit more with the reddish liner. Okay, now let's go over with a champagne glam gloss. And I notice, like on her lip area, it's kind of very triangular. So I'm going to try and create that look at the top, like a Russian lip. Okay. And there we have our Nomi Malone face going on. Now let's try and pin up these curls, how she had it. She kind of had like a curl updo. I know she had some curls coming down in the front. Um, for my hair, I just wet it because it's my natural hair. And then I applied Aunt Jackie's Grapeseed Style and Shine Rescued Repair Leave-In Conditioner. And then I also applied this Rice Water Moisturizing Milk Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff smells really good. And then I'll just go in with my coconut oil at the end so my curls have some moisture and they don't look so dry and then I did diffuse my curls just a little bit with my blow dryer I just scrunched and blow dried so it took a little faster to dry because my curly hair does take forever to dry um so we're gonna try and leave some curls out in the front how she had it 
think it was kind of more pinned to the side a little bit. So let's do curls out like that in the front. Thin out some of these up here. And oof, this is too dry. We gotta add some moisture to you, baby. And we're gonna get some bobby pins and pin this all up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the final Nomi Malone look. What do you guys think? I'm serving you Nomi Malone. I felt like the hat matched very well with the shirt she was wearing in the original film. I know that the shirt is not the tiger's look, but it still has the same exact style of the button down top and i wore the necklace like she did in the film i'm wearing one of those nude strapless bras that stick to you so you can't see my nipples i do not want to get demonetized on here and this is the full nomi malone showgirls look i'm going to stand up so you can see the full look and i just paired it with some black high-waisted skinny jeans that i had um, because I didn't have ones that look exactly like she had. Nomi Malone, you guys. I freaking love it. I feel like this costume would be super cute for a party if you guys are going to any Halloween parties this year. Very cute. You're stylish. It's sexy. If you don't really kind of want to wear a costume, but you just kind of want to put like an accessory on and throw it on and still serve a look, this is definitely perfect. Let's also look at some photos. What do you guys think? Yes, I'm serving you showgirl, honey. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. I love Halloween. All of these fun looks that I've been creating have definitely been helping me get into the Halloween spirit, especially because I was forced to quarantine for 10 days and got sick with COVID. And unfortunately, I had to postpone a lot of the fun um, festivities that I had planned for the holiday season. So this is definitely helping me get in the mood and still kind of celebrate Halloween and have fun at the same time while being at home and being safe. So let me know what you guys think. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween. Bye.